Hey everyone, this is Ricky Bell with Victolic CPS. I'm a programmer on the Victolic Tools for Revit project. And I want to talk today about our Create Assemblies button. And we've had this in our toolbar for a couple years now, and Ralph Shuck has done a, uh, a video on it. He explains in great detail uh, the reasons to use it and the reasons to use it over the one that is built into Revit to create assemblies. But what I wanted to talk about today is a, a continuation to that, an enhancement that we've made called continuous spooling. And it's a really fast way to take a familiar workflow and, uh, and add to it and do an entire piping system in just a few clicks instead of breaking to reassign and renumber your piping system. So what we're looking at here is a uh, example piping system we use for presentations here. It's got a lot of Victolic on it, of course. And uh, in our template, we have a view called spooling view. Spooling view is going to be a really helpful view when you're assigning your assemblies and your assembly names. Uh, pipe and pipe fittings are going to default to a black and white color here. And as you assign them, as you assign new spools, they'll become colorized. So you can visually see if you've missed anything. Uh, so what we're going to do is the, the familiar original workflow would be to make a selection, click on the Create Assemblies button, give it a name and then click OK and then move on from there. Maybe you make a new selection, click Create Assemblies again, give it the next number in line and go from there. Um, but what we've added to this is a feature called continuous spooling and what this is going to do is it'll create the first assembly and then it'll prompt me for the last piece of the next assembly and then in one click I can create the next assembly and incrementally number it from there. Uh, there's also another option here to assign whatever piece I click on as field material and you'll see there's a visual indicator in our spooling view that'll show you which ones are field material, which ones are going to get shipped to the site loose. So I'll assign those as field material and click OK. You'll see CWS number one gets created and I can just continue down the line. Everything that's uh, field material shows up in orange. CWS three, I'll do this drop right here. And I'll continue this out and just follow the piping system all the way down and this can be a really big time saver for someone trying to assign assemblies and assembly names. You'll see the spools show up over here in our Victolic Tools for Revit assembly manager. It's a really cool new feature we're excited to talk about. It's going to be a separate video but it's uh, going to be a big time saver with uh, managing spools and spool drawings. So I can continue uh, assigning spools here. I'll go to the other end of the drawing just to show you and keep it clean. So I'll grab a different piping system over here, make a selection, click the Create Assemblies button, make sure my prefix equals my uh, system abbreviation, restart at number one, continue with spooling, and I'll use the Field Material option. And now I can just fly down the length of my piping system uh, creating spools. So there it is. That's the Create Assembly tool with the continuous spooling option, an enhancement to a familiar workflow to um, save a whole lot of time creating assemblies and assigning assembly names. Make sure you check out our other videos for Victolic Tools, and thanks for watching.